Close it. Hang loose. Welcome to the newspaper, where we make fun of all this tragedy. And humor comes to die. Ooh. Uh, Friday. Friday, August 28th. And the headline reads, Lockdown begins with four new deaths. Mmm. Four new de What more can you ask for, huh? Hmm? Well, I'll tell you what more you can ask for. There's how many new cases? 306. New daily high accompanied with four deaths. Okay, so heh, the U.S. Surgeon General warns the spike will continue. The U.S., the nation's Surgeon General, warned Oahu virus, member, virus numbers likely continue to spike. So I even this isn't even damage control. It's like they got this all going on after the spreading, and now it's coming to fruition at the beginning of the lockdown. God. Okay, tourist drops worse than expected since July. It's down actually 98 percent, 98 percent since a year ago. Woo. <laughs> And public school distance. <sighs> Keep on going. Keep your distance in the schools, public, and all that kind of stuff. And then there's, of course, Trump lashing at night. He's like, we'll make America great again. And if we don't, we're heading down the road of goddamn socialism. Weird messages, I don't know. Virus, fear, motivate, blah, 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 the virus. Um, Hurricane Laura is carving destruction across Louisiana. Uh, shooter acted in self defense, the guy that was shooting in the riots. And also, that cop that did the fatal shooting that got this thing all started out. Rusty? Hi, Rusty. <laughs> Whatever his name is. You know, there, there is a knife that was in the floor of the driver's side of the car so i don't know man i, do, I, I just if he's guilty he's guilty but i just don't get into this jump on the bandwagon thing putin warns protesters in belarus remember minks give me it's like on my game don't pitch too hard because nobody likes protesting dishonest elections more than putin <laughs> okay, and the letters to the editor, which we will feature today. And before we get there a little bit, I'm going to say this so we don't get... They're preparing to saw World War II coming to a sky near you. And all these like really cool planes, like the P-51, famous for long-range high-altitude bomber escort. And the FM... Two wild bat cat and 17 vintage all these navy amphibious assault ship essex is gonna and it's gonna be 10 to 11 on saturday they're gonna fly towards the south shore from pearl over from pearl harbor then fly a path toward the south shore and pearl harbor's on the south shore then to the north shore and how he's gonna fly around basically what the zeros did <laughs> <laughs> when they bomb Pearl Harbor. No, probably. <laughs> ah, it's happening again. <clears throat> that was not... Yeah, that was really young. <clears throat> First batch of Saturday, second batch on Sunday from Wheeler, Haleiwa Field to Kaena Point. And Kaena Point, then along the west side, returning to Pearl. It's going to fly all over the place. <laughs> oh, I'm in a movie. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I wanted to try to make, try to make it too long, but also spend some time with letters to the editor, because there's kind of like good stuff in here. Hmm. And there's good stuff in here. Ah, the Java and the COVID. All right, flooding options, because Louisiana, we get on the ark, or start making sandbags. Okay, here we go. 
Number one. This is like it's like a top five list. Number one. Ige should delegate some responsibilities by John Tamashiro of Pearl City. It seems that everyone is now piling on the governor for his inability to meet and or exceed expectations in his response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Blaming the governor will not result in a miraculous reversal of the woes we are now facing. Or fate was sealed when why voters decided to re-elect somebody who was already displayed an inability to quickly respond to a crisis situation such as the false missile alert oh, somebody was like oh they're coming to shoot missiles out it's wrong gonna die remember that Ige, sorry buddy the only viable solution is for the governor to delegate his leadership powers to someone who can make a difference positive difference there's no shame in acknowledging the lack this is great there is no shame in acknowledging the lack of skill sets that are desperately needed now it would be shameful if we continue down a path toward negative more negative outcomes as clint eastwood once proclaimed the world according to clint yeah as what clint eastwood once proclaimed a man's gotta know his limitations thank you thank you just throw money okay we're gonna skip that one but teachers yeah you know don't throw them on the front line you gotta get all infected just, but you can you know what teach your own children <laughs> only places open require spending money regarding the latest mandates and what we may do in our daily activities if you look over the list of where we can or can't go we can only go into places where we spend money but we are restricted on going to places where we don't spend money this is ironic in that we must spend money to risk catching a dose of the virus uh, should have could have canned that last irony should have stuck with the make a damn big statement about you just want our money, you bastards. Uh, Melt Miyamoto of Aiea, paraphrased by Magnus Max. <laughs> Missionaries damaging influence ignored. Now this one, here we go into the race issue again, but I, oh well. Missionaries damaging influence ignored those damn missionaries by linda murala hindahara lind haran okay the star advertiser recently published a puff piece about the 200th anniversary of the arrival of the kistian missionaries in hawaii and the original ones were protestant it wasn't father damien he was catholic Rear view Mary initially is married to two, two centuries ago, May 8th. May 8th. I was thunderstruck. Because she's an ACDC fan. I was thunderstruck. However, that the article gave only glowing reports of the influence of these particular missionaries. I saw nothing about how this rigid and damaging version of Christianity not only temporarily promoted literacy, among the Hawaiians they found here, but also, so I guess she's pro literacy, but also stripped them. Wait, they were already naked. They're the hula naked. They have stripped them of much of their dig. Well, you know, topless was naked. Stripped them of much of their dignity of their own culture. So whenever they start using a culture word, <laughs> it's the yellow alert. Additionally, the Europeans, the Christians, put Hawaiians to work in the fields for profit. Uh, uh, the Europeans who were Christians, so she's blaming the Christians because of these Europeans who were basically ruthless businessmen, like slave labor, like 1800s, Old South, similarities to Baobab. 
plantation days where pigeon comes from and goose. To my understanding, Hawaiians were hardworking but not used to working, not used to working all day because we're lazy Hawaiians, mofo. Not used to working all day for someone else in harsh conditions. I don't work for, I work for the elite under penalty of death. Many perished from the conditions and are, and from imported disease. Yeah, slip it in there. Yeah, a lot were wiped out with that disease because they were immune to it. And now the final paragraph. I get rid of this. How can a paper not report this at a time when we see in so many places that exploitation of people of color, yellow alert to red alert, over the centuries, double red alert, has left too many people, has too many of them, living in conditions today, triple red alert, that make them super vulnerable to getting sick from COVID-19 over the top. Linda Murale de Haran, Hindu, people of color, exploitation over the centuries. So this is a threading of the basic um, gripe of anybody living in ghetto areas or low economic and uh, low economic socioeconomic conditions. Yeah, this um, rhetoric over and over again, and yeah, there's probably connections, but. <clears throat> you can't go back and change 200 years of history, 400 years of history or whatever about tearing down some statues and going, you exploiters and how could you write a puff piece? And this is, this is all stupid. Um, see, like, who are you riling up? Who are you revving up to be mad at? You know? I can go back to there's bad conditions that Mahatma Gandhi created in India, right? And, um, geez, I mean, you go back in history and find these horrible things in history, and history is full of it. <laughs> and you're going to blame people today. How can they? How dare they? Because perhaps hiding behind all this people of color exploitation making them super vulnerable to getting sick from the COVID-19 as if that was the plan in the first place. They didn't know that kind of stuff happened. So, I don't know. That's just, she's just like a rebel rouser. Get people to go on the bandwagon and protest and shoot them in the head. That's zombie apocalypse talk. Ravin them up. That's like, how dare they with centuries all the people of colors unite so the people of non-color are the white people so get them white christians and herd them up and <sighs> satan <laughs> sorry <laughs> back to trying to keep it on time so i don't know that just looks like we're not going to read too much of this one but it's about the postal system don't go postal <clears throat> mock theistons column apparently more than one person had a problem with this column called, quote, Democrats' postal conspiracy as phony as Russian, Russia, no, Democrats, their postal conspiracy that they made up is as phony as Russian gate, you know, the conspiracy to get Trumpster, Trumpy Bear elected, okay, which was in August 21st, so I, I probably did a, 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 a newspaper on it, which <laughs> I probably breezed over it and didn't read it. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's saying that this one here, who is Diana Chang of Wai Lai Nui, is saying that this is a piece that's completely, pretty much telling you fake news from the people who decry fake news and point their finger, fake news, fake news, fake news, and three people, well, there's more than three points about fake news, about the postal conspiracy. Vote by mail has a much higher failure rate than in-person voting. Fact. There is no evidence this is so. The postal doesn't need any money currently. Fact. 
If so, why does the Postmaster General employ implementing cost-cutting measures? DeJoy was appointed by a bipartisan board of governors. Fact. There, this uh, board of governors had like four Republicans and two Democrats. In addition, several of the Republican members are members of the Super PAC supporting President Trumpy Bear. A super PAC is pretty much a damn evil thing. I don't know who came up with this thing. A political Action Committee, PAC, P-A-C, a super PAC. Now, this is where you can get wealthy, wealthy people, super wealthy, and you contribute large amounts of money, large, huge amounts of money. And because it's thrown into the super PAC kitty, you don't have to declare it. It could have came from anywhere. You know what I mean, comrade? But I'm saying anywhere. So super people, I don't know, just whatever, name one of the one percenters. Could a couple million dollars, 400 million dollars, whatever. And you don't know where it came from. Which is sort of like, where did all this money come from? You, voter, citizen, will never, ever know. No. That's a super PAC. And they're just... A problem money in politics is a problem you know what they should do they should just have the people on the list wanting to get elected right and via government government right the government allots some X amount of TV time for debates and their personal thing personal um, advertisement you know, government paid just cheap commercials you know public access like type TV and that's it you know they have to get the exact same kind of like press in public and they can say their position of what they want to do like that and then people go vote none of this gigantic money's behind it because this is like giant money influence buying and we're getting to the time so um shit, do this. okay i'm sorry but theater management has just informed me that we have to change reels. Ready? Set? Cut! When you buy technology, and you refurbish it so it may work, because someone like Marcus Max does not have the super pack money for his channel i get no money for my channel mongoose invasion help me monetize <laughs> mongoose, mongoose max needs a pair of new shoes okay where are we back to our lovely letters all right i think i got one more here um doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah so um yeah and this one is from one carol a Priolo, Priolo from Pearl City. Carol from Pearl City saying, it's titled by the lead, the editor actually puts these titles in. UP, USPS sorting machines useful to control costs, which is supposed to sum up her letter, which she sent in and wrote herself. Unless she had somebody write it for her. Suspicion arises about such things. We never know in these times where they're raising up the flag of zombie apocalypse. And they're writing their own speeches, right, Bucky? He, he has a nose cold. It was a raven he got into a fight with. Okay, let's go. <laughs> USPS sorting machines with the mail useful to control the costs. <clears throat> Is Mark Thiessen, your pro-Trumpy bear columnist, to appease your few remaining fox-watching readers? <laughs> Burn! Psst. The headline, quote, Democrat postal conspiracies as phony as Russian gate, August 25th, made me laugh. <laughs> making me laugh making making me laugh it made you laugh 
Thesian, uh, Thes Thesian? Uh, the writer of that piece, uh, may have chosen not to read the conclusions of an, of an investigation by, by, by a bipartisan Senate committee that Russian Gate did happen, so it's not phony. So if Russian Gate was not phony and Democrats' postal conspiracy is as phony as Russian Gate, which was not phony, then Democrats' political conspiracy that they created a conspiracy is not phony either. Never mind. Therefore, there is evidence of a postal conspiracy directed by Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. That's the guy basically appointed by Trump to run the postal service as postal general, and now he's commissioned to dismantle the postal service. Doesn't make sense. Uh, so this guy, Postmaster General, is removing and destroying mail sorting machines, which is not phony. Removal of mail boxes, not phony, and no overtime. So that's what they're doing to the post office system, which is not phony and not funny. How can costs be cut by destroying paid for sorting machines? I didn't have to think about it. That sort of mail, that sort mail mechanical, that sort, that sort mail mechanically. <laughs> have no hourly wage, no health insurance, no retirement fund, no sick or annual leave, and do the job faster and cheaper than manually. So how can that be costing you more money? And they're already paid for. <coughs> Matter of fact, if the postal postal worker is going to be upset about, they're upset about being replaced by a machine, damn, a robot's taken over. DeJoy, with his millions, should be forced to get these machines functioning again or replace them at his own cost. Anyways, that's right. Okay, so sorry it was long again. It's all going to hell in the handbasket. Zombie apocalypse is on its way and being revved up by all kinds of people. And that's really kind of cool. But Mongoose Invasion! And here, leading Mongoose Invasion is a World War II aerial flyby cool parade of peace thing. That should be cool on Saturday and Sunday. Hang loose. Hang loose. Aloha.